There we go. So this is the advanced YouTube. And the reason I thought I would do advanced YouTube, um, because we've done quite a few um, YouTube classes in the past, and even script writing and video and all that. So, but I think a lot of people don't understand what the cards and the end screens are when you upload your video. Does anyone use those at all? Diane, I know you upload a lot of video. Uh, yeah, I use them for some, but not for all. Um, I use custom stuff in some of my videos for the end cards. Okay, cool. Um, there we have another new person. So we're just gonna keep going here. So I've already uploaded a, just a, a little video that I created out of Canva um, just for today's purposes. And it's about 46 seconds long. I went ahead and used my um, um, upload here and I didn't really do anything to this. So what we're gonna do is start out by editing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the details of this. And I actually took out my uploads, my defaults. So in here, you wanna make sure that you have a description. I would also put your bio in here and then make sure that you have all your compliance information. So by compliance, I mean, if I'm gonna say, um, on Melvin, filter, um, 925-555-1212, phone number, ron at ronmelvin.com. And we're gonna say he's with Killer Williams, for example. You need to identify your brokerage. If you are your own brokerage, that's fine too. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and pretend he's in the Danville office. Now, most of you should have this already set up in your um, default um, upload defaults. So you shouldn't have to worry about doing any of this part. And then each office is independently owned and operated. So whatever the compliance information that you need to have in your signature block, you need to have on every video. And then you need to, um, if you don't have a thumbnail, you can easily create one in Canva and make sure that you um, add that. And especially for listing, um, um, videos. And the reason I say especially for listing videos is that, let me go to one of my clients here. Just as an example here. I'm going to Coco here. So you can see she has quite a few. She's um, had me make quite a few listing packages for her. And I always use the same um, thumbnail for all of her videos. So let's say if this is a new video, we're going to put it here. And you notice I do the same, uh, the same one and put a sold sign. That's what that is, that pink thing that says sold, because that's her color. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw on a thumbnail for there. Make sure you have it in your my listings um, playlist or whatever you're calling it, make sure you say no, it's not made for kids. And make sure you have all your tags in here. So, and by tags, you guys know right, your keyword um, tags. And I keep those actually in a Word doc. So all I have to do is, let's see if I can grab. My keyword tags. Okay, so here they are right here. 
right, my keyword tags, I just keep them all with commas in between them. And that way they should upload in your upload defaults. So if you haven't put those in, make sure that you put those in. And here you can see, I only put a few in here um, in my upload defaults section so that if this is an actual listing, maybe in Martinez or something that I don't have in my keywords, I can add Martinez Realtor, Martinez Homes for sale. Um, something to do with the city where your listing is. Um, and here you wanna make sure you have English. This content, content has never aired on television before. And I like to use um, the standard YouTube license. And my category is always the how-to and style. Now, that may seem odd, but most of what you're doing is has to do with how-to videos or styles of homes or staging. And this is the number one watch category. So I like to make sure that I'm in that category. And as far as comments and ratings, again, all of this stuff is stuff you can set in your default settings, your upload defaults, so you don't have to do that every time. But I always say hold all comments for review. Um, just over the many, many, many years, and Cheryl can attest to that, that I've been doing this, other real estate agents tend to make comments on your video, giving their contact information. I've seen that so many times. And even in the mortgage world, doing 850 mortgage videos, I had loan officers from all over the place constantly putting comments on our videos with their email and their phone number to try and get our viewership. So um, I always say hold all comments for reviews. So that way I can approve them to show on the video or um, report them as spam or just keep them hidden. So I always say hold all comments for review. So once we have that done, we can save it. We've got everything done. Um, subtitles, if you've got subtitles, you can upload a file or you can type them in manually. Um, why is this important? Subtitles are becoming, this is brand new by the way. So it's hardly been out there. Oh, this is, a, it's my own copyright claim. Huh, that's interesting. So subtitles are becoming important because as a lot of you know, there's um, ADA compliance um, that is now talking about um, your YouTube videos that you upload to make sure it's ADA compliant. So on this one, it's all text and reading. There's no over uh, voiceover or anything like that. So we're not going to put any subtitles on there because there's it's all typed onto the, the video itself. So I'm just going to hit save and go back to my content. And here's my video right here. And there's my claim. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go in here and edit this again. And let's say it is just a listing video with showing pictures of the home, different rooms and stuff like that. So I may want to go in here to my editor and add some music. Uh, we're not going to be able to do this. That's going to be, that's all right. We'll go to another one. Let's go back to the content. Um, we're going to do this one right here.
We're just going to upload another one all together. Okay, let's go back here to my videos, my Canva video. So in here, you're going to see all your upload defaults are going to take effect here. And I already showed you about the description and how to add a thumbnail. We're going to go ahead and add a thumbnail. And again, you can choose a very simple thing that I need you to do. Select your playlist. They know it's not made for kids. Put in your tags and make, make sure everything here is correct. This one will upload really fast, so we're gonna go ahead and do this one. And there we have it. It's now being added. I'm going to go ahead and remove this line. And we're going to go ahead and go to the pencil now and edit this line. Okay, so we can put in our um, description along with our upload defaults in here. So you can put any kind of paragraph in here that you want. Um, let's see, let's go ahead. And paste in a description of my, of my work of my video, and then I should have my upload defaults, including my signature block and all my compliance information. I've got my playlist. No, it's not made for kids. I've got my tags in here, my language, license, how to, hold all for review, and I'm gonna hit save. And let's go back to channel content now. And we're gonna try to edit this, see if it's gonna let us put on some music now. I don't know why it shakes sometimes like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is put on some audio, just so that your viewer can have a little bit of music while they watch the video. It just makes it sound like a little more easy to listen to. So up here, you notice this little, these three little lines. I always go to the um, genre, and I like country folk. There's cinematic, classical, R&B, jazz and blues. So you can click whichever one you want, or as many as you want, and say apply. And then you can listen to these. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm going to stop it. Um, and you can see how many minutes and seconds it is. And if it's not as long as your video, you're going to want to find one that is at least as long as your video is. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one right now. And say save. And it takes a minute for it to put the uh, music on. So you just want to make sure that, see it says video is processed. Um, please check back later. So we're waiting for that music to be put on. But we can go ahead and do the end caps and um, the, oh, sorry, the end screen. And, oh, it's not going to let me do it until we get those on. So we'll go pick another one here.
we're going to go ahead and pick this one. All right, so we have in screens and cards. And I already talked about subtitles. If you have video that has a lot of talking over, um, there's a couple ways of doing subtitles, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. So first, let's go pick on cards. What are cards? Now, you can put a video, a playlist, or a channel. And if you have a paid video um, YouTube account, premium account, you can add links. Um, but what this means is that somewhere throughout this, I have 19 seconds or something like that here, that I can add another video, suggest another video to my so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out here to say about, let's go to 20, let's go to a minute and a half. See my counter? A um, minute and 40 seconds. I'm going to add another video to recommend. So let's say, let's just recommend, it's going to go to your videos. And I'm going to say, I'm going to recommend um, the Canva, how to use um, create video using Zoom, PowerPoint, and Canva. So up here, you're going to see uh, when it comes to a minute and 40 seconds, it's going to suggest this video. So your viewer can just click that and go to that video if they choose to do that. So let's say I want to add, you can add, I believe, up to five cards. So I'm going to add another video. Oops. I always forget this part. So somewhere around the five minute mark, I'm going to add, you've always got to set your marker when you want that to um, play. So I'm going to add another video on my five minute mark. And let's say, um, Create video using Canva. There we go. So those are two video related um, cards that I put out there. And let's add one at the 10 minute mark here. And let's add another card or let's add a playlist. Let's go ahead and add a playlist. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my website training playlist. And right around the 12 minute mark, let's add a channel, okay? So here you can put in, any channel that you want. So let's say you wanna put your own channel in there. You just put the name of your channel in there and it's gonna add that. And notice it only gives you 30 characters on each of those. Um, and I'm going to hit save. And now we're going to go to the end screen. So they give you several different layouts that you can have for the end screen. And what this is, is that you have elements that you can add. Um, and this one happens to be um, how to add YouTube is adding automatically is suggesting a video that would go there. And then over here, is subscribe. And you can show the hover card online. So let's go ahead and hit save on that. And now I'm going to show you what that did. The cards and the end screen actually did the to the video itself. 
So we're going to go ahead and hit and make sure everything, all your changes are saved. So we're going to hit the video link. Mm -hmm. And let's go to a minute and 40 seconds. Oh, no, I will. Oh, that was on my video. I'm sorry. So when it comes to a minute and 40 seconds, we should have an end card here show up. This happened to be a 30 minute video, so it was quite lengthy here. Here we go. Let me skip it ahead here. There we go. So we should have an, a card show up here to recommend another video. Here it is right here. Those are the ones I added before. Let me get back to. It's still processing on the music, so it's really going to be hard to get it to show exactly what it is. But here we should have Does it pop up in the corner or when it pops up, where does it pop up? Up here in the corner. Okay. So let me try to get it to that minute and 40 seconds. It may not have finished processing it yet. So let's go to the five minute mark. It's such a long video, it may have taken a while for it to put, add those things to it, but it should be popping up right here. Okay. Oh, we already went to the create video using Zoom. All right, let's go back over here. Sorry about that. This is the line that we wanted. What happens when you've got way too many going on here?
I really want you to see these end cards. So hold on one quick second. See where it comes out here. Mm -hmm. These are the end cards that come out. So it's going to come out here on the on the top. And then what if we go all the way to the end of the video? Let's get to the end. You're going to see what the end screen, how that pops up as well. See right here, here's another video and here's a subscribe button. So that's what the end screen. And again, when you're doing end screens, you can actually um, choose of several different layouts. So you wanna make sure that when you're choosing a layout, um, it's not gonna let me do that now because I've already done it to this one. So let's go pick another one. Let's just pick this one, for example. Let's pick a short one. So you can see you have several different layouts and you can change the elements um, that you want as well. So like this one has a video, a playlist and a subscribe button. So you wanna make sure that you do put those in, those um, in screens on there because getting more subscribers, can anyone, Finish this brings you more. Finish that sentence. Views. Which brings you more. S SEO, SEO, SEO. Yay. And it's all about SEO. It's a lot of why we do this so that we get found on page one, right? And doing video on listing videos or um, around town videos or whatever videos that you choose to do um, is really, it's all about promoting your business um, and why people should hire you and what makes you stand out and the success that you're having with listings or whatever it is. It's important to have end caps so that you can, it all drives to the same marketing goal of increasing your business and increasing money in your pocket, right? So just make sure that you do add end caps whenever possible. Um, it doesn't, the only thing that the cards really do is um, direct them to other videos within the same, um, maybe I would use it to direct them to another related video on the same topic. Now, how would I use it for a listing video? Let's say I have a listing, two listings in um, San Ramon right now. So I may um, have a card on there that directs them to the other YouTube video on my other San Ramon listing. So if they don't like this listing, they may like the other listing. And you can always go back and edit them to add them. So even if you don't have both of those, let's say I just up, uh, uploaded my second San Ramon listing and the other one is still available. I'm gonna go in and probably put in a card to the other San Ramon listing that I already uploaded and then go edit that one and put in a card referring or um, suggesting this video. So you can use um, cards for all kinds of things, but I like to use them for playlists or related videos, topics. Um, and let's say you do a whole bunch that around town in, in Martinez. So every time you do one, um, you can go send them to another video within that same playlist, um, like um, why live in Martinez playlist. So there's all kinds of ways that you can use cards and the end screens are important because you want subscribers. Um, and your subscribers get notified every time you upload a video. They may get a push notice on their phone or um, I mean in YouTube, which I get those all the time. And most of it's coming from the things my grandkids watch on YouTube on my phone, drives me crazy. 
but it works. So the other thing that I wanted to show you, we have end cards and in, in screens, is um, how to use the subtitles. Now you can see on here that you can upload a file or you can have it on screen. One of the best ways to show you what's going to be It's hard to hear you. Can you hear me, everybody? Now I can. Okay. So I'm going to go to another video, a shorter video here. How long is that one? It's two minutes and 36 seconds. I don't think that one has any. Let's edit this one right here. So I can go to any video that I want, and it doesn't have to be just on my channel or one of my own videos. And let's say I'm watching the video, and obviously there may be talking going on that I'm not aware of. No, this one has no voice. This is just a, was a demo one. So let's go back here. Let's go ahead and do the Google My Maps one. So I'm opening up this video. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and mute it, mute it so you can't hear it. But all we're gonna do is go over to these three dots that I'm watching and it says open transcript. So from the very beginning, it's going to have a, a, um, a transcript. It's actually going to follow down as the seconds click down. So in order to get all the way back to the top, you may have to keep starting it over. But in order to do this, all you have to do is let's turn off the timestamp so you can see the time went off. And now I'm going to go ahead and copy this all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to highlight all of the transcript. Let's say we're on the end. We hit copy. And now you can actually open up. Um, let's go ahead and open up a file. A Word doc. And I can now paste that whole transcript into a Word doc and then edit that. So that is my transcript. That, that is my um, subtitle file. And you don't even have to get too fancy in here. You can just format it however you want. Um, you don't even have to put a lot of work into it. And we're going to hit File, Save As. Oops, call it subtitle or do video on editing site. Call it whatever you want so that you know what it is. And then when you go to edit the video, you can upload your document.
guys said, put it where you know where it is. Where did I put it? Oh, we may have to save it as a PDF. They may have changed that. I apologize. Oh, they have to be TXT files now. Uh, they used to be doc files. Again, not something I've done in a while because we haven't need these needed these. So let's see as a doc file. We can do a TXT file. Plain text file, save. Continue. There we go. And there's your subtitles all loaded up there. And again, this is primarily for ADA compliance um, and it doesn't hurt to do this. If there is talking already um, on the video, like I said, you can get um, the transcript. And if there is talking on the video, um, and you can tell I'm recording this now and I'm talking to you guys and I'm doing like half sentences a lot because none of us actually talk the way we write. So if you want a nice cohesive, coherent, I should say on, from my part, um, uh, subtitles that can be understood by the viewer, you may want to really do those up nice. Otherwise, all they have to do is open the transcript. So again, if we go back to this video, you should be able to just open up the transcript. And that's really all the ADA requirement um, requires. But if you're going to use it other places, you may want to add subtitles as well. Does that make sense, guys? So you're saying that um, subtitles are required for AVA compliance? I'm not saying that they're required. I'm saying that they could be in the future. Oh, I okay. think that ADA compliant websites, uh, there's a lot of noise about that. And what does that mean? Mm -hmm. um, so far, in according to the law, real estate, um, real estate websites do not fall under the ADA compliance requirement. And why? When you're an attorney, it does. Okay. Um, anything that, any kind of business that um, needs to be available to everyone, such as an attorney's office or a hotel, a restaurant that has a menu, everybody should have access to that, right? So there's a lot of, those are, those are the types of businesses that are included in the ADA compliance um, ruling on compliant websites. So far, real estate is not one of those. Um, and they also have to be a business that hires 15 or more full-time employees. So if I'm a law firm and I've got more than 15 full-time employees, I definitely have to have a compliant website, okay? Each of you as independent entrepreneurs working for a broker, or if you're the broker yourself, do you have 15 or more full-time employees for at least six months out of the year? That's the question that you have to answer in order to know if you need to have a compliant website. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, someone with a disability can't come along and um, say your website isn't. ADA compliant and challenge you, but right now from everything I've looked at and everyone I've talked to um, in the legal profession is still saying that the real estate um, 
real estate is by individual entrepreneurs, unless they have a big brokerage where they hire and more than 15 full-time employees. So um, I'm going on that, but I'm also saying that subtitles are not necessarily a really bad thing to have on there, just if you want to be sure. Um, if there is voice on, if there is voice on the, um, what we call a voiceover or people are on the video talking, you're gonna have an open transcript anyway. That should suffice. You shouldn't need subtitles for that. But you can have them if you want them. So that's what those are about. So we have end screens that are primarily to promote a different video, maybe a playlist. Um, if you are a premium YouTube user, you can add a clickable link to your website. So that was the one thing that I showed you that is said where it said link. You have to have a premium, um, pay for a premium YouTube channel in order to be able to have a clickable link on your video to your website. But the rest are, you can refer them to a, an individual video, or you can refer them to a playlist, or you can ask them to subscribe to your channel. And the cards are where you're really recommending um, other related video or playlists, or you can, or other listings, whatever you want to use the cards for. Um, and you can, I believe it's up to five per video you can add in there. I wouldn't do it too often. Maybe if you've got a short two minute video, maybe every um, 20 seconds isn't bad, but otherwise you don't wanna distract them too much from the video that you're get, trying to get them to watch. So I ne I've never used more than three cards. Um, and even at that, I probably would only use two. I would always go um, maybe a, two minute or 20 seconds into the video. And then again, just like halfway before the end. Um, and if you ever wanna see your, let's go back here to my analytics. If you go to your channel content and go to your analytics, you can pretty much see the average um, views like, um, it's going to be able to tell you like most videos are um, people X out after say um, a minute. Okay. And that's why I would say don't have your, vi your videos more than two minutes long. You're just not going to capture enough attention um, to have videos that are more than two minutes long. Um, we all want to watch something or are willing to watch something that's two minutes. Um, but after that, we pretty much bounce out and go watch something else or go do something else. We just don't have the um, ability to sit there and watch a 50 minute video. Um, like this is probably gonna be. So I'm going to actually stop my um, recording now and 